been using Figma a lot lately and I've got some handy dandy SVG tips for you. So one thing you can do is I'm moving my shape around here. I'm going to right click on it and copy as SVG. This puts it right on the clipboard and then I'm going to go straight over to SVG OMG for compression. Now here I get to play with the pre precision slider. So this is a really handy way to, to just balance out the quality of compression and uh, your file size. I'm trying to get it as optimal as possible. Um, so it re having that visual slider really is a huge advantage. The, you know, you can run this at the command line, batch process it, but you won't really get the visual feedback that you need. So now I'm going to paste that into a brand new file. I happen to have uh, the CSS and the, and the markup already set up. I'm just going to um, create this file and paste it in there. There we go. It's a bunch of triangles. Paste it in. Awesome. Save it. Go back to my markup uh, and this markup is ruby slim if you're curious and i'm gonna i've got a little partial that will inject it and inline it boom refreshing my browser there it is and now at this point because there's some custom positioning involved i'm just gonna spend a little bit of time um, massaging that into place basically so with my my workflow <clears throat> like some of yours out there is uh you know you do a lot more in the browser these days and here you can see my browser uh, inspector, web, web inspector open, uh, and it's a little larger there. So I'm just kind of playing around with the spacing and, and padding. I'm using Translate 3D to position them so that I can animate them and do things with them. And uh, really here, just kind of experimenting, seeing what feels good. Uh, I've already set up sort of the what I would call the rigging, which is the stacking on the Z-Index. I've got some other really cool um, layered stuff going on. I've got another the, the hexagon pattern is the uh, SVG texture. That's another layer. And the gradients are all actually multiple backgrounds on a CSS element. But this has let me experiment really, really quickly. So I really like this feature of Figma. I think Sketch also lets you do the same, but for some reason, I really like this uh, output here.